Hello guys and welcome to this new episode. I hope all of you are doing well today. I hope all of you are doing fine. Yeah, this is video number one of three. We missed out on the on the other two videos for last week because I was up to so many other things. I'm sorry guys. Uh, this week, I'm looking forward to making three videos for you guys. Uh, hopefully, if all goes as planned. Yeah, and today we're going to be looking into uh how to use desk screener to actually ape some massive profits with meme tokens a lot of things have been happening in the meme token and uh desk screener is one of the best places to get all of these meme tokens to make a lot of profit yeah and at the same time you need to understand that you could also make a lot of losses <laughs> yeah but before we jump right into that guys if you're seeing our video for the first time, smash that subscribe button. We have loads of content for you to see on this channel. We're also trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So it will be nice of you to help us get to that target. We have loads of content you, you would like to enjoy and you will be welcome to this community. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about a desk screener. I'm not going to go into the in-depth of how to use this screen i'm just going to view through what is happening the latest trends and now you can actually uh, utilize this screen to make to ape massive profit if you want me to go into the, the in-depth of how to use this screen you can let me know in the comment section i will use series of other videos to do that and uh, create videos that will help you understand how to use this screen as a beginner yeah so let's quickly go right into right into this so while using deck screener one of the things you have to look out for is the danger of being scammed and being rock pulled right as much as you can make a lot of money on deck screener you can as well lose a lot of your money on deck screener and what i advise most times is to ensure that you have a particular amount in your portfolio set aside for this risky <laughs> this risky trading strategy i don't really uh, you know encourage these for those that are still new in the space but at the same time we've seen a lot of situations whereby people who are new into the space you know come into this the this type of trading uh, system and they are lucky enough to actually make a big bag i mean someone can come in with ten dollars or twenty dollars and then go straight from that into a massive profit as i as you know uh ten thousand dollars or what have you so yeah but at the same time you could also lose a lot of money on desk screener or you know get stuck in this ideology of you you know making one million times of your initial you know investment while that is possible while a lot of people are, i mean so many people don't let me say a lot of people so many people are doing that but at the same time you have to be careful you have to assign let's say maybe maybe 10 percent or five percent depending on your you know on the liquidity with you i mean on the amount of capital you're holding and trading crypto which you can hold maybe like like five to ten percent of that capital and then allocate it to tokens that are very risky like these meme tokens because you could actually get rock pulled and what i mean by being rock pulled is someone who launched this token can actually just scant away with your money cut away with your money and there is nothing you can actually do about that the difference between desk screener and the likes of coin gecko or maybe market cap is that well desk screener is the first place where you see many of the new tokens you know you, they don't get on market cap and coin gecko on time so when you go to when you come to desk screener you could actually see tokens that have low market cap low liquidity they are just starting now maybe they just launched about a day ago about 12 days ago about a month ago they are still putting community together you can join them if you think they are doing something massive and be part of it before you could actually see them on uh places like coin gecko or market cap it will take a while they will have actually done something good before they got listed they get listed on these places so their screener is more like your feeder team you can call them the feeder team of places for uh, a feeder team place for for platform like coin gecko or market cap so that's what desk screener is all about and like i said guys you have to be very careful when you're trading on desk screener because you could actually gloss lose everything you invest on desk screener it has happened to me before <clears throat> and at the same time 
I have made money on that screen as well. But that doesn't mean that many of us, as a matter of fact, the best of us as well, have lost a lot of money on deck screener as well so yeah some of the things you have to look out for here is uh the liquidity right the liquidity is one of the things you have to look out for uh like you see this ans bull now has a liquidity of 502,000 and sees and also has a market cap of 6.7 million why the market cap is very very important you know while you're trading uh the liquidity is as well very much important you have to ensure that the liquidity when you are getting in the liquidity is quite okay it's not bad but the market cap is also quite okay and not really too high you know the uh, another problem you have very difficult for the market to move because the market cap is around is around 6.4 million already <clears throat> so some of the things you have to look out for here is to ensure that the liquidity is marginally okay there is enough liquidity you know there is enough liquidity you have to ensure that there is enough liquidity here you are trading with because if you don't have liquidity here it's like you are just dashing out money because when you buy for instance let's say you, you have they have a liquidity of two thousand dollars and you are buying with let's say one thousand dollars what are your chances of being able to sell when you went to sell that token so you have to ensure that they have enough liquidity that will be able that will allow you to sell your token when you want to opt out of that project but at the same time you have to also when going into some of this token you must also ensure that the liquidity is not so high that you would be it would be very difficult for you to make any profit if the market moves and hinge the market cap is also very important you can get into some tokens at a very low market cap but uh availability of the liquidity is also very important so you have to balance you have to balance the two another thing you have to look at here is the layer because you don't want to be investing money in a, in a layer in the blockchain layer where there is no enough liquidity people are not spending money in that particular chain for instance solana is a very good chain where people are spending a lot and uh, if you check the if you check the liquidity currently on solana you see that it's very high as to let's say maybe arbitrum that is not as high as Solana. So you have to be very careful to ensure that you are spending money in the liquidity. Uh, you are spending the money on a chain that has enough liquidity and people are actually spending on that. You can see that uh, you, we are talking of something like Solana, Ethereum, and Solana, Ethereum, Base, and uh, Binance Smart Chain. While I think they are, they are as high as they follow each other. I think Ethereum is the first. There is enough liquidity in Ethereum. People are spending the lot, in the, not a lot of money on Ethereum. People are spending a lot of money on Solana as well, and then Base. Then they have, then we have Binance Smart Chain. But people are not spending as much on places like let's say Arbitrum, Optimism, Pulse Chain, Celo. Uh, Ton is also doing very fine right now. But most of the memes that are being created on Ton are not as well traded as places like Solana, places like Ethereum or Base. So these are the things you have to consider as well when you want to invest in any of these in any of these meme tokens so what you have to look out here what you have to look for here is uh to look at the liquidity the chain ensure that there is enough money in that chain and the market cap is something you also look at when you initially want to invest because you want to invest in such a way that you follow that token to a particular good margin so that you can make your profit another important thing you need to look out for guys is make taking your profit yeah you have to take profit guys you have to take profit because if you don't if you do not take profit you might be risking a lot here while it is very very good for you to think you can actually go from ten dollars to let's say two hundred thousand dollars at the same time you have to section taking your profit in such a way that you take it in batches so when it reaches a particular market cap you can take you can take your profit for instance let's look at this and let's instead of this price on this side let's choose the market cap and then see how you could possibly take profit from this kind of name token now this is with santa that this is an initiative of a uh, uh, dog with art this is an initiative of dog with art another thing is uh, you, you should look you should look to an initiative that is trending as well 
you should look to an initiative that is trending don't look at the initiative that is already still like old for instance you can look at a token that has been created within the last the last uh, six months if you want to trade meme regularly so you can look at that as a matter of fact, times you can look at one month or two months but if you if it is something you want to be doing consistently over a long time then you can look at a token that has that has been in existence for like four months six months at times a year you can look at let's say the uh, you can you can you can you can reduce your search to let's say the last uh one year nine months eight months so that you can see the trends of what is happening what has happened within that token before you make your decision if you look at this particular token it was launched uh, not quite long ago about 15 hours ago yeah if you're trading this you're taking a huge risk because it is not that long ago but let's use this as an example and then the market cap to analyze how you could have actually taken your profits if you are trading for instance this with santa and this is on solana chain yeah so let's say at five hundred thousand, let's say you entered at about maybe hundred thousand or two hundred thousand at five hundred thousand at five hundred thousand the uh, market cap you could take you could take you could take some some profit here then at one million you can also take some profit at 1.5 you can take some profit then at 2.2 million i would be taking profit at 2.5 i will also be taking profit because you could see that at each interval it is going to kind of reset now for all those who bought at uh let's see for those who bought at uh at 3 million those who bought the token when the market cap is at 3 million they've bought the top and at that rate they are going to lose their money because you can see that it jumps right down from there and then retrace back to 1.5 and yeah from 1.5 it has gone up again to 1.8 but uh it's this kind of meme tokens are very very risky because you, anything can happen it might continue going on the downtrend and it might also continue going on the uptrend then it retraces go up then it retraces but let's say we want to look into token a token for instance that has been in existence for longer than just uh, a day or two days because those are very risky tokens yeah you can actually be lucky and make a lot of money from this uh but also you can be unlucky and lose all your capital with major many of these many of this token uh lastly before we go some more there are some other things you have to be very careful about you have to check the contract address to ensure that it is not a scam uh there are many ways you can check that you can use rock check to check the contract address to to see if the person is looking to rug or they are actually all set to help their community you can see the contact address is here and you can check that uh, another thing here is um, there are a lot of things that you, that you have to check out uh, I'm not going to be able to cover all of it in this video but uh, on this screen now you can also check the top traders the transactions are not really relevant and at times uh, technical analysis are not really as much relevant especially for many of these tokens that are not that old enough but if you're using a hold if you're going to be trading old meme token you can check the the, the the you can use technical analysis at times to see when it's about to break out and when people are, are about to are about to put money in it but at the same time you have to avoid pump and dump because uh, and as such you have to look at those uh, wallets that are holding a whole lot of it to see when they are selling so here you can see the top traders so here you see the top traders and you can see there are some of, for this to token now which is bread this is also on the soul chain uh, you can see that this token uh, this wallet is holding okay i sold top traders this this is top traders those that, are, those that have sold I'm trying to check uh, the orders, top orders. Okay, let's see. It's supposed to load. 
the holders okay this is the holder this holder is holding about uh, two percent so if you are trading this token now you have to put a notification on this particular this wallet 2.8 percent 2.7 percent like this top uh, 2 to 5 wallets or 2 to 10 wallets you can put a notification on them to know when they are selling because whenever they are selling it's going to actually affect the price of that token so these are some this is something you have to be very conscious of else it poses a threat of you losing your bag losing your bag you can also check the liquidity providers okay you can check the liquidity provider this is also very good for rock pool you can check the liquidity provider and then uh top traders doesn't really have much to eat the transactions is not really as important because uh, at times people are also using bots to trade many of these meme tokens so uh, at times on the transaction what i look at is when a bot is trying to test or is trying to set a a buy trend you see them buying 0.2 dollars 0.2 dollars 0.2 consistently just to set a kind of trend and see if they can pump up uh the market and encourage people to buy for especially for those that are that are using the transactions field to make decisions that's why it's not good to use a transaction fee to make decision because if you see it that it's all green but it's just 0.2 dollars that's like about 20 cents so they are just setting that trend and at the same time they, they both as, as well uses that to test rock pool because at times some of these uh token creators what they do is they will use bots to set a trap in such a way that as people are buying they are dumping consistently i've seen a token that uh, where i watched the charts to see that the person holding that token is consistently dropping and they're not dropping a huge amount they are dropping it in three dollars four dollars fifty dollars forty something dollars one and something dollars after someone has bought a huge amount so at times some of these things are just uh setting traps and then uh ensure and then looking for those that will enter the trap and then they will just offload their bag and then they are gone so there are so many things when it comes to this screener and at the end of the day uh it's important to to understand that you, you at times you just have to be lucky right at times you just have to be lucky but you are not always going to be lucky but at the same time there are some things you have to look at to ensure that you are as secured as possible else you will keep losing money on this screener and you will not make any money from it so one of those things is to ensure that you check the liquidity ensure that the liquidity is enough for you to be able to sell another thing you need to look at is the smart contract ensure that you scan that smart contract check if it's a rock pool uh, you can do that using the rock check to check if the person is looking to rock pool or not then you can also check those that are holding that token how many people is holding a lot of it for instance let's take a look at this uh chew chew uh it's an initiative of the chill guy right there are a lot of token that have gone on this initiative and you can if you check the holders you can see from here i can scan the contract let me do this okay i can scan it on solana because it, i'm of, of course i'm working on solana chain right so let's see let's see let's see transfers holders if you check the orders and then you are seeing that one person is holding a whole large amount of that particular token that is very very risky the person is holding maybe 50 percent of that token or the person is holding like 40 pair 40 something percent or 60 something percent guys you have to be careful because that's a recite for disaster the moment that person keep dumping that market is not going anywhere they're going to rock pull and run away another thing you have to look at is if uh, for instance, I've seen a situation whereby you have two to three, two or two or three liquidity provider, and as such, uh, it's I think uh, there is a Descrenat themselves puts a, a kind of danger asterisk on it to ensure that you could see that something might be wrong with this. So this, there are a lot of things you have to look out for. There are a lot of things you have to look out for, but essentially, 
um, you have to be lucky too because if you are not lucky, you might end up losing losing the bag in the using deck screener. So guys, that's it about deck screener for today. I don't want to take much of our time, but let me know in the comment section how you think of, how you how you use deck screener if you've made a lot of money on deck screener and uh, how many percent you've actually been able to make on deck screener. Yeah, like I said, I've made money on deck screener. I've lost money on deck screener as well. Yeah, guys, if you watch if you've watched our video this long, guys smash that like button smash the subscribe button let's get this video as uh, to as many people as possible and at the same time let's help all help us get to the three uh, from three thousand to ten thousand subscribers we are trying to get to ten thousand guys thank you if you've subscribed we really appreciate it we have loads of content on this channel that you will love love and love to see so guys be careful out there where you're trading this meme token. We are currently in the season where things are going brazenly crazy. Be careful out there. Be careful out there. Thumbs up to you guys. Big up yourself. Big up yourselves. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Take care of yourself, guys. Peace.